right, so we're filming our palette. I like using the, obviously, you know, we're primed and everything. We're using the Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters from ColourPop. I do have a swatch video up of all three. That's what we're working with. Um, and I am primed with the MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre. It's, it's still an OG. Um, yeah. I'm actually re-filming this first part because I had a piece of chicken stuck in my tooth. But the they're fake, so I can never tell when I got something lodged in there. Because, uh, you know, I can't film anything with them. So, you know. Yeah. It's the only downside of having dentures is... You never know if there's something on them because you can't feel it. There's no feeling to them. So when I smiled, I was like, oh, there's a big piece of chicken stuck there. Ooh. You know what I mean? Okay. But I'm like, oh my God, he got dentures. <sighs> Apparently dentures are taboo for people who are young like me. <laughs> okay. Then you can't tell though because Afton did a good job. Good decisions though. All right, so we're gonna use the Bewitch shade. Cause I really wanna use the Bewitch shade. I'm gonna use like the first part cause I'm trying different looks, you know? Do the first part of my lid with Bewitch, this olive green. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a Halloween palette video, but I'm waiting for my Aussie set to come in because those are Halloween related and you know they're still chilling. So if you ever see something shipped to you from UDS, just know UDS takes 20 years. all the time they're the they're the definition of snail mail a little more of this side okay i think i like how that's going pharma Cats must wear everything. Oh, she's laying down. What is that sound? Oh, it's the people below me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with the shade Night of Frolic next. Oh, I like that. I'm just tapping like on the center area because I don't want them to get muddied together. Oh, it's super pretty.
there is a kick up in these palettes though. But the mattes have a softer formula in this one than it does the Hocus Pocus 2 All Hallows Eve palette. <coughs> oh, sorry. Get a drink of Coke. Listen, I ate some hot noodles. I over seasoned my noodles. That's looking really good, by the way. And, um,. My mouth was on fire. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. I did ate, I ate a date afterwards. Which is like a little fruit. It's nice. I'm on a healthier diet. So we found some zero low cal noodles. So we ate us. Oh, it is packing very well. I love it. Okay, so I actually want to take, using the same brush, my hair is everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. This, these videos take so long because I get so sidetracked. Like, listen, when I wake up in the morning, my thought process is just like zen, right? And as soon as I'm awake and alerted, it's... Imagine a bunch of squeaky legs everywhere and trouble focusing on just one topic. That's my brain all day. Okay, so we're going to go into the shade Hello Sale, and we're just going to lightly buff it up at the top. Just lightly. Actually, I really like that. It's like a beigey pink. Okay, so I want to go back in with a little bit more of the Bewitch shade. It's really pretty. Okay, so now... So I'm done with that brush. We're going to cut our crease. Fancy hand moment too. Uh, uh, uh. Using the NYX glitter glue. It's still going strong with that brush feel. And I'm just going to go right in the center area. For shimmer. Nothing too crazy. That's good. And then I think shimmer. I think we're gonna do the the toss up between two. We're gonna do 
Thackeray Binks or It's Firm. Let's do It's Firm. We're doing It's Firm. Good choice for me. I like that. All right, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more Bewitched. Just to, just because I want it to like not be looking like it's been like cut out or something. If that makes any sense. I'm using that brush I just used the shimmer on because I don't plan to pick up any more shimmers on it. more blended. Oh yeah, that's great. That's working out great. Okay, so let me go clean up the eyes, come back and finish it. All right, so we are back to finish the look. Took me, for you, it took a couple seconds. For me, it took a bit because, you know, full face, woo, pretty. All right, so we're doing the inner corner. Let's see my inner corner brush. For the inner corner, let's go ahead and go with the shade Yabos. We're going to go in with Yabos here. Oh, it's gorgeous. And that right there is going to finish our look. Have to let me know. That was a pretty powdery shade too. Alright, so this is our official ending look. You know, how did you like it? Do you like this palette? Do you love it? Do you still use it? This is quite quite a good grunge palette from ColourPop, I must say. I am I love it, to be honest, quite honest with you. You know who I think would like this? Batty Bean. I think Batty Bean would love this grunge story for sure. For sure. And this is like the perfect blend out shade for your edges. I love that too. I just, I vibe with the whole palette. Lips, if you're wondering, is lip liner from JSC Weirdo with Kaleidos Liquid Lippy. It's their Cloud Lab Lip Clay Shade Scorpion Fruit. So, I outlined because I knew this is like a dark black purple. So, I just Outline with the black and then went in with this. She's a deep plum black purple. I don't know. I really like it. That's a good lip combination. I love it. All right. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And hope to see you in my next one. Bye.